Hey, welcome to the Antonio Parkinson Project. We got the Memphis Mayor Paul Young in the building. It's Pisces season. It's tax season. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're talking about emotional support dogs and men wearing heels. We'll be right back. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. <laughs> Welcome back to the Antonio Parkinson Project. I am Antonio Parkinson, and I am joined with my wonderful co-host, Angelica Jelly Woods. Hey, y'all. Hey. It's Friday. In the Ooh, I'm so happy yeah. it's Friday, y'all. Oh, shoot. Kojak. DJ Kojak in the building. Uh, yay. You know it's Friday. It's man. Friday. It's time to get busy. It is. DJ Kojak Angelica was really, really laid back on that intro, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Yeah, man. I wonder why, why that is, you know, because we, we, we're testing out <clears throat> the new crown... Uh, what is it? Uh, Blackberry. Black, Blackberry. Yeah, we're testing it out. And uh, Angelica was really, really chill, really, really laid back. You yeah. know, plus... That she, is not... No, no, huh? no. Let's, let's be clear. That has nothing to do with me. I drink Mountain Dew. But uh, shout out to our sponsor for that. But no, I drink Mountain Dew. Yeah, shout out to R&R Liquors who, who, yes. who, who allowed us to be the test subject. R&R. R&R. I didn't even know about the place. Right around yeah. the corner. Yeah. Like, I yeah. told you so. Yeah, that's awesome. We, we, Rick, Rick, shout out to Rick. Uh, we Rick. love Rick. Rick is in the in the building. And we're in the capital of Memphis, right here in three eight one two eight in Raleigh. Yes, yes, we have we have claimed our spot as the capital of Memphis. That's right. I Ain't that right, Coach? I saw that. I saw that. We yeah. the capital. Shout out to Marlo. Marlo came up with that, and I yeah. said, "Oh man, we're running with that." <laughs> oh Lord, right? You're gonna start so, something with that. Yeah. We are. You know, you're gonna, uh, you gonna let them know about the little situation that we ain't gonna talk about the uh, look Chuck. The Chuck situation. No, nah, we can't talk about that yet because not, not, okay. not until we get an inked. Okay. Uh -oh, yeah. Lord, we get, don't we, do it. Let the ink dry. Yeah, okay. we're work, we're working on deals. We're working on deals. Kojak trying to spill the beans, big, right? Though. Right. Big. We got to put the beat button on the edited version of that one because Kojak. <laughs> hey, can't man. Kojak can't hold water, man. You can't, you can't tell black people sometimes. Man. Sometimes they well, just don't tell me. Yeah. You, know, you know, Jess I'm, Hilarious I'm, did that. She pre-announced <laughs> something early with the Breakfast Club, and she almost lost that deal. You saw that? Wow, I did not see that. Yep, at a live performance. Yep. Wow. They announced it. Yeah. So let that ink dry. Let that ink dry, right? Uh -huh. Speaking of live performances, we are going out on the road come this spring. So we are going to be doing um, the Antonio Parkinson Project live uh, out on the road. So y'all look for us. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe right now. Uh, make sure you like, follow, share, subscribe to the Antonio Parkinson Project. We are yeah. the fastest growing the. visual podcast yes. in the Memphis market. The. In the Memphis market. Yep, yep. Yep, us. yep. Us. Yep. Shout out to the team. Rico over there chilling. LaCantia actually got a sound today. Ooh. Yep. She ain't over there just clicking and pressing buttons. Uh -oh. Shout out to Nichelle, who who all right. Nichelle's over there with the Memphis uh -oh. mayor, Paul Young in the What up, what up, what up? Yes, sir. How y'all doing? Man, we in here. Can I say something? Can I What's say up? something? What's up? You have a different aura. See, when you were before mayor, you <laughs> came in here with a different aura. I, I could smell you around the corner. Hey, I had the swag then, he too. Must I be, mean. He must be here because you guys got a different. No, no, he no. Come well, in. What you saying, Angela? He walked in like a boss, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, like, look, well, he all I, comfortable I and stuff, right? You, you got to play the part, right? Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah, you right. you got to act the part. I am the part. That's right. That's right. Yep. Little Paxton in the building. What's up? He's just so cute. What's up, Paxton? <laughs> <laughs> he ready for the game. He ready for the game, man. That's what's up. What's happening, Mayor Paul? Man, Young? not much, you know. We just yeah. having a good time, man. You know, we're yeah. trying to make sure we elevate our city, working hard, doing all the stuff that we talked about, what, three, four months ago when I came mm -hmm. on here, right before the election. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Hey, I got to send a shout out. <clears throat> got to send a shout out to Sage. Sage, oh, yes. Sage brought us some snacks in. Sage yes. brought some food in. Shout yes. out to Sage. We, looking at we appreciate y'all. Yes. Yeah, we know they have you having at some of your events. You've had some Sage food there. Yeah, so yeah, you, yeah, you missed out. It's cold now. It's all right. You know, uh, it's there's a, a microwave in the back, so I will wait till it's over. You you're on your you own, Mayor. Yeah. You're on right. your own now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Speaking of which, you know, we're in Black History Month, yeah. Black right? History. That's and, right. Uh, you know, Black businesses in, in Memphis. You know, and yep. and what's what's the special thing about our city when it comes to Black History Month? 
Well, I mean, I've, I've been telling everybody, every room that I go into, that we have to celebrate the fact that we're the largest majority black city in the nation. Yeah, give it up There's for no, that. Give it up for me. There's no other city in the, in the country that can claim that. And so we lean into it as a positive, as a strength. There's so much culture, so much energy, so much vibe. Um, and I want to make sure that people see that as a positive. Um, we want our, We want people to think about black entrepreneurs, right. black uh -huh. wealth, when they think about Memphis. And I think we have a charge mm -hmm. uh, for us to make that a reality. There are there are great black businesses that are thriving, but we need more. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. That's right. Send a shout out to a black business real quick, y'all. Yeah, shout each out, shout out. I have two black business, Dog Team Apparel. Yes. They are the only black pet owned store in Memphis. Okay. They're owned by a black couple and they are in Crosstown, across the street from the concourse, and TBN Tax. TB. You know, TBN TBM TBM tax. TBM tax. TBM tax. Lady, don't trust people because they cross they feet. What they say, cross their uh, chests. She actually do your taxes right, and you ain't gonna get out of it. So that's important. Oh, uh, that's very important. But you know, mm -hmm. speaking of speaking of taxes, right? Yes. You know, mm -hmm. it's tax season, so mm -hmm. you know, Co Kojak. It's tax season. It is. And, you know, tax yeah. season comes right on off the heels of boo season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And you know, when when these when these women. You know, they get their taxes back. You know, mm -hmm. they're getting chose, right? Yeah, getting real chose. I, I, I wouldn't know because I, I never got that much taxes back, but uh, TBM can make sure you get the taxes. Now, what you do with your taxes when you get them mm -hmm. is fundamental. Don't fumble that tax bag on somebody who don't want you. Man, don't come on, man. These brothers out here flipping the tax bag, man. Come on now. Cause they, look, look. Yeah, yeah. they're going to flip the tax bag. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, uh, Mayor, you ever flipped the tax bag? Oh, uh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. You never sit around because you're about to get the taxes. Right, 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 right. I don't know what you're talking right. about. Okay. Look, 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 put that camera on DJ Kojak because he's looking a little guilty over there right now. No, no. Kojak, DJ Kojak, Kojak come on, you ain't chose no, one because she ain't got uh, her taxes back, Kojak. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Uh oh, boyfriend. Oh, oh, Lord have mercy. Boyfriend in April. April. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, shout out to all the Pisces, and uh, we actually have a word for it. Um, a hobosexual. A hobosexual. <laughs> Lord, that mercy. Yeah, somebody Lord. that actually hook up with someone in tax season. And then when it's over, the relationship the, is over. Wow. Oh, uh, okay. Another one so of our terms user, in our glow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got to right. add, keep adding. Learn terms. something every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's another one of them you terms. Boy, that yeah. Romeo Parker's not, he not, definitely told me one right there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> now, to all of the folks, don't, don't come after us. We didn't say homosexual. We said homosexual. Oh, what is the definition again, Coach? Okay, okay, you doing well? When someone <laughs> hooks up with you for your taxes, and when the tax money is gone, you never see them again. When the tax money wow. gone, they gone. Mm -hmm. they, they out here. Do a lot of them out there. Right, they're burning rubber. Yes, right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they ain't doing donuts in the street when they burn rubber because you know, because Mr. So. Mayor, you know, they do when these taxes come. What? What? what I gotta ask this. What? Do we usually, and now let's, this is a cultural conversation. Oh God. What do we usually do with our tax returns? What do we buy? What are the things that we should not buy that we buy as black folks? That buy here, pay here car. Okay. Mm. And bottles in the bar. Mm. Oh, mm. popping This bottles. ain't me. Bottles I, like in I, the I, club, say, I, don't, yeah. I don't get money no. back, but hey, right. you know, if somebody right. want to share they check with me. Get right. Bottles right. and them cars. Oh, and vacations, you know. You know, I, you know, I, I need a vacation know. every nah, once in a while. But, yeah. You know, yeah. but when you get out the vacation, mayor, you got to live. Yeah, so that's true. That's true. Pay that's true. And uh, YOLO, they take YOLO too serious during tax time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you got to live your yeah. life after them taxes. So, yeah. DJ Kojak, what, what shouldn't we be buying with the tax money? The bottles. The uh -huh. bottles. I have two clubs. Of course, we, we stock up around this time. How much y'all charge for So, y'all exploiting the tax the folks? <laughs> We getting back what we lost, right? No, you probably yeah. five times back throughout the years. <laughs> no, you know, you know, <laughs> but the bottles you shouldn't buy the bottles unless you can afford them. Actually, afford them, whether it's tax time or not. That's how I feel about. It. Okay, I, I see. I see uh, people buying uh, bundles. Designer, oh right, yes. yeah, bundles, bundles. rims, yeah, yeah, uh, hair. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's a bundle. Oh, I know, man. Yeah, bundles <laughs> hey, man, the man don't wear I don't bundles. Have bundles. Hey, look, he don't have to buy none. Right. Right. Yeah. That, you know, you see them buying bundles. You see them buying uh, designer bags, rims, you know, bags. You know. Yeah, yeah. 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 They, they, I don't need nobody post. You know, they get a lot of those. You know, forget oh, everybody. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. One thing they don't do is pay people back around taxes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And that's one thing. Sometimes you don't get yep. your money back. Talking you. on the money phone. 
Yeah. Right, oh, right, yeah. right, yeah, yeah. Talking on the money phone. I forgot about the money phone. <laughs> the money phone, right? Yeah. Yep, yep. And then and then getting evicted two months later. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Come on, Memphis. We got to do, do better. Financial literacy do better. is key. Financial oh, that's, that's, literacy. That's, that's vitally important. I'm vitally sure Mayor important. got that covered. I'm sure he Financial does too. Literacy. Yeah. Hey, hey, so, so speaking of which, Mr. Mayor, you know we we um, we we have a, a high percentage of uh, people living in poverty, and and, yeah, and no as a as a segue, very very interesting. I read a book called A Framework to Understanding Poverty, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I think her name is Dr. Ruby Payne. I think that's who who wrote that book. Have you ever read that before? I had. No. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I implore you to please read that book. You know, I read that book, and it taught me a lot about myself. Right. And so they talk about those traits, those characteristics that people in poverty carry with them. Right. And things you don't even realize that you're doing. That's a part of a poverty mindset. And then they, and they also do the comparison for people in middle class and people of wealth. Right. Give you give you an interesting um, uh, example of that is they say people in uh, people from poverty can tell you exactly the steps to get somebody out of jail. Think about that. Mm. But they say people from wealth would have no idea of how to get somebody out of jail in most cases. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Think about it when you're eating, right? People of poverty, that's they 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 want to go to a buffet because they want to get full. I used to think we see buffets in the in the lower income parts of the community, right? People of middle class are more interested in what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. Right? People well, of wealth are more more interested in the presentation and can be satisfied mm -hmm. with a small amount of food that has a nice presentation to it. Mm -hmm. You ever thought about that? Mm. Never thought about it, but it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that's really interesting. So, so you know, poverty is a real issue for us here. In, in, yeah, in no question, market. no question. It's yeah. a big deal. Yeah. So, what, what? You, tell me about any any ideas, plans, strategies. Well, I mean, I think poverty yeah. is the number one challenge in our community. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, obviously, public safety, crime is what we talk about most, and it's the most visible effect. But poverty is the root cause. It yeah. is the reason that we deal with what we deal with, and. You know, as a community, it's going to take all of the strategies. Um, I've, I've mentioned crime. I always tell people crime is the output. Mm -hmm. It's the output of a whole lot of things that have gone wrong in individual's life before they make that fateful decision. Um, and we have to attack it from all angles. Uh, mm -hmm. Some folks, we're just going to have to hold accountable. But if we really want to stop it, mm -hmm. then we got to go back. We got to make sure that people are getting money in their pockets, that we're growing income, that we're growing wealth. When we're doing that, our city is going to go leaps and bounds mm -hmm. ahead of where we are today. And I yeah, really want to you, Mr. Nah, Mayor, but I think the biggest thing too, sometimes we get the money and then we don't do right with the money. Mm. We had to achieve stewardship of money, of, of a lot of things, if we want to talk about that. But a lot of people get, because there's opportunities, like even when I hate to go down this line, this lane, it was PPP time. Mm -hmm. I remember, yeah. we're going to call that the era, PPP era. Yeah. And that was like an opportunity that has, you know, we have never seen before. And a lot of people did not maximize and do what was right. Businesses could have been started, debt could have been paid, but a lot of people sometimes don't don't have money because they don't know what to do with the yeah, money. Yeah. So yes, we can secure all those things, but when we get it, what will we do with it? You know how yeah. they don't know what to do. And sometimes it burn a hole in people's pocket. They just they think yeah. you just got to spend it. Well, I mean, it's just like somebody just mentioned it up here: financial literacy. Mm -hmm. Like I, I guess I'm I'm more sympathetic because if you hadn't had for so long and you watching people get. And, you know, especially in this social media age where yes. you see you see these mirages of everybody stunning and they having what they what they got. Mm -hmm. Of course, you want to go out there and spend it and and get your moment to shine. And so we need more financial literacy so that people understand how do you sustain money and wealth? If you look at some of the, the richest people in the world. They could walk in this room and we wouldn't even know it. Yeah. Um, and Do that's you know what kind of car a millionaire drives? Ford truck. A Ford truck, but we gonna we gonna get that Bentley truck. Oh yeah, the oh, yeah. 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 They drive Ford trucks. How yeah. you know that? Yeah. Yeah. That's at, at your book. book. Uh, at the books, baby. I, mean, I read y'all. <laughs> believe it or not, you know. But it's it, it, it's truck. really interesting, you know, because I remember uh, telling my daughter, my nineteen year old daughter, shout out to Kirsten Parkinson, Taylor's extreme. Shout out to Kirsten. Kirsten, <laughs> Kirsten <laughs> doing not doing their hair, but look, <laughs> I remember telling her, I'm like, I'm like. You know, don't don't waste your money on, you know, uh, chasing these brands, right? Mm -hmm. You know, because number one, uh, it's not a, it's not an asset; it's a liability. Number one, and number two, who in the hell are you impressing? Other broke yeah. folks? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, seriously, man. Think about it, right? You know, all your friends are broke, so mm -hmm. so you 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 buying all this name brand stuff to impress other broke folks, mm -hmm. right? Especially at her age. And and then you think about it, you know, when you when you when you're doing that. With other broke folks, you know that that is bringing the wrong attention to the broke folks. 
and mm-hmm. they're going to try to figure out a way to mm-hmm. to try to get you. Try yeah. To get you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's it's like I said, it's always easy for us to say from our seat if you have something, you right. you you got enough money, you've had an opportunity to attain those things. We talking to a generation of folks that that hadn't been able to attain it, or they only see one way to go get it. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, what I try to do is make sure I have a measured response because I can remember being young. I've never been struggling. My parents always mm-hmm. were around, uh, but I can empathize, empathize yeah. with you know some of the what people are going through. Right. But have you ever been a brand person? Uh, you know, that I mean, not you? myself, uh-huh. but I mean, I still like nice things. Yeah. So I mean. Yeah. I can't hate on somebody else that does. Yeah. They might like them a little bit nicer than me because I'm a simple dude. But, right. You know, I like I like nice stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I like nice stuff. I like quality stuff. You know, but I don't have to have anybody's brand. Nah, nah, nah. No, no, no. I don't. I don't really do the brands right. personally. Right. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. I get you, it. Cody, you got your Balenciagas on today, man? What you? Nah, nah, no, 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 not today. <laughs> he said not today. I ain't want to stunt today. Now, 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 Angelica likes brands. Now, Angelica, you're a brand person, right? This is no. Don't try to. Don't try. To. <laughs> First of all, you see how I tried to ease that over there. <laughs> but see, I ain't gonna tell this story because what he gonna do? He gonna clip me. He loves my clothes. Because I, when I first moved to Memphis, I had a whole experience uh-huh. in the mindset. But we're not gonna go down because he's not gonna. Come on now, take us down the rabbit hole, Angel. I'm not going down the rabbit Please hole. Please take us down the rabbit hole, Angel. I the like nice things, uh-huh. but I have a financial advisor. Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. she says you can plan accordingly. So when I go travel somewhere in this time. I put money aside for those things, mm-hmm. and my account looks, uh, it matches what I'm carrying. Right. I ain't going to have no $3,000 bag, and I got $200 in my account. Right. That's that's it. And yeah. I plan for them. It's not a spontaneous thing. It's because that's what I want. And if I mm-hmm. ever wanted to, I could sell those things. I can get I can get mm-hmm. my money back. You can you can buy Vintage, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Because you got that advisor that's, that's coaching you on that. Exactly, right. Yeah. Yes. And, and, you know, back on that book, Framework to Understand the Poverty, that's what, what they said in the book. You know, the the person in poverty, in order to come out of poverty, needs every other resource with the exception of money. Mm. Yeah. Think about that, mm. right? With the exception of money. Mm. It's the last resource that a person in poverty needs because they need a, a, a mentor. They need a spiritual person. They need, a, you know, a, a financial person literacy person they need mm-hmm. to understand finances mm-hmm. and a whole i think it's about seven different things that they need before they are given money in order to come out of poverty mm-hmm. yeah yeah but they still need money though <laughs> yeah, well, yeah but it's, <laughs> I mean, but it's the last uh, thing oh uh, yeah, yeah I, but it's I, the I, last thing yeah well you know and and to and to qualify that they talked about you know folks in the nba Right, you know, folks that that win the lottery, and before the year's out, right, and right. W- more debt than they were right. before yeah. they hit the lottery. Yeah, yeah, and those are significant amounts of money. Right. So, I, so I, I guess I'm I'm saying that in order to get those daily resources and needs met, they're right. gonna have to have some income and revenue. That's why we're exploring things like uh, guaranteed basic income for families oh. and things that we can oh. we can do as a city to ensure that we have a baseline. Like, okay. We're not saying that we're, we're gonna make you wealthy, but there must be a baseline for being able to 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 thrive in our community. And so we're we're gonna be working on you know trying to identify pilots and models so we can do some things like that. Oh, really? Okay. And so yes. don't explain what that is just yet. Okay. I want you to explain that when we come back from the break. All right. You're watching yeah. Antonio Parkinson Project with Mayor Paul Young in the building. Yes, we'll be right back. They watching me and you together, Paul the Bill forever. Plus we will live together. Gucci sweater. They want they can tell her. No, when they see us, they tell it. I took you through some, but you still got me through whatever. I can't answer why you won't leave. You think he's better than me? No, I can't be too screen. Can't find no better than me. Mama told me, say what I love. My bro say, let her just be. I can't keep going back and forth. I said, just let her go free. Cause if you stay this, go on and on and on. Yeah. Trying to tell me I'm wrong. Cause I did not make it home. Hey, man, this Marcus with Unapologetically Memphis. We tuned in to the Antonio Parkinson Project. Big myth. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. 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 Welcome back to the Antonio Parkinson Project. I am Antonio Parkinson. I'm here with my wonderful co-host, Angelica Jelly Woods, who's pouring the Mountain Dew right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm being honcho. Right. DJ Kojak in the building. DJ yeah, Kojak in the house, man. Right. Mayor Paul Young in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Excited to be here. Yeah. Little Paxton over there in the cut, chilling. Yeah, he chilling, chilling, hanging out. Go to the Grizzlies game. I see you, Pax. 
<laughs> yeah, Pax so cool. Wait, man, I got it, man. I, we gotta talk about Pax and <laughs> now. Pax and Pax and so cool. Always been cool. Yeah, they, they were great. That's my guy. Third grade, third grade, third grade, big yes, three, sir. big three, in the big three. Look at him. in the big three. He hooping now. Hooping. He got a nice crossover. Uh oh. So, uh -oh. That's what's up. I heard your potential trainer might be Javante Holmes. Yeah, we we're definitely talking. I'm oh, trying to get him in there with him. Yeah, on show. it's yeah. just a matter of us getting the schedule. He, I think he literally just texts me today the next schedule. So we. Gonna, That's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah. I already know. I already know. His I'm show, looking the, forward to the episode it. Episode with him on is, is incredible. I'm gonna have to amazing. check it out. Yeah, it's dope for real. It's for, so look, you know, before we get to guaranteeing income, you know, you know, you, yeah, you're the mayor, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. um, I, I do want to ask how life has changed. But don't answer that right now. I want to know how life has changed with with the family and the kids, man. Yeah, talk, yeah. talk about before and now. Man, it, it really hasn't changed dramatically, uh -huh. except for the fact that, you know, I always got somebody with me because uh, right. uh, Sergeant Moss, who's with me daily, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I told people at the beginning, like, I'm going to continue to drop my kids off. So, uh, they jump in the car with me and Sergeant Moss, and we right. drop the kids off at right. school every morning. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's more events, but I, I try and make sure I get home about 7.30 at, at the latest. Yeah. Um, still bring dinner home when I come, if I if I can. So, you know, I've tried to keep it as regular as possible. Yeah. Can, and, I, can I say something? Yeah. This is key. You don't have to ask for permission, Angela. Because I want to enjoy my job. This is the mayor of the city, okay? Yeah. He still come home and bring dinner. So that man that's making them excuses. <laughs> the city. Oh, brothers, I'm sorry, man. I wasn't trying to put y'all on the spot. They coming for you, know. you know. Yeah, get them out. That's the that is your line. I'm just trying to bring that normalcy because you know I got I have young kids and so I want them to look back at this time and still remember. Yeah. Making memories with me. Yeah. That's that's, that's awesome. Man. Real talk, man. That's that's awesome, man. Your 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 role. And how you're doing it is so vitally important to young black yeah, men. Yeah. Do you feel like that's a lot of weight? I don't. I don't feel it as weight, man, mm -hmm. because I just. I just do what I believe is right. Just yeah. do what's in my heart, and right. then it kind of takes the pressure off. Like if I think about it in a big context, yeah, it could it could feel like weight, but mm -hmm. I just do what I think is right, man, and and be authentic. And Come on, be who I Ooh, am, man. You know and, that's a buzzword around here. Being no, nah, but it, it really is right. like it's so much easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like it's so much easier yeah. to just be who I am. Uh, I know there was some folks that were mad because I came out to three six. Like, dude, I grew up on three six. Like, <laughs> why wouldn't I? Was, I, was I? Was why wouldn't I? I was turned right. up. I was turned right. up, so I had to have the music <laughs> to match the moment. But right, you know. He was so hyped, and he just go way off script. Oh, yeah, I, I was all the way off script. But, <laughs> but it was uh, an incredible moment. But, though. you know, that's what you're supposed to do yeah. in that moment. You're yeah. supposed to yeah. just just let it out, yeah. let it flow, yeah. let yeah. it flow. Yeah. And, Which is great. You know, people people resonate real, recognize real, especially in Memphis. Like, yeah. we're a real, real town. And, <laughs> like, people in Memphis, we can sniff it out. Right, spot a fake anywhere. Yeah, yep. it doesn't matter how articulate you are or yep. not. Yep. We know if you're a real person. Yep. And... Yep. I think the reason that I was successful in the race and the reason that our city's going to be successful is because we're going to keep that authenticity at heart. Yeah, that that man, that that is awesome man, and amazing, man. And look, I'm just going to throw you this alley-oop because I don't want you to get jammed up when you get home. <laughs> Send a shout-out to your wife, please. Oh, uh, oh the beautiful uh, Dr. Jamila Smith-Young. Uh, yeah, right. yeah she, she's been a rider on the journey. Right, and right. And she has been... Um, Every step of the way, right, right. there. Uh, right. My whole family, uh, mom, sister, brother, Man, love mom. cousins, yeah. Yeah. aunts, uncles, yeah. everybody has been so engaged right. uh, in the campaign. And you know, my dad passed yeah. like um, a month in. Yeah. One month yeah. into yeah. me announcing that I was right. running, he passed. And he was like the rock of the whole family. Yeah. And yeah. so the campaign was like what everybody was able to pour their energy into. And it gave us an outlet and an opportunity to, you know, put all the way, what he was all about was the people, especially young black yeah. men. That's all he was all, he, every day, that's all he was pushing. Yeah. And so it gave us an opportunity to push yeah. that even further. You know, yeah. Mr. Mayor, when you were speaking, and I should have been obedient earlier, but you confirmed that I didn't know about your dad. I give you my condolences. But when you're talking about the weight and everything, in my in my spirit, I'm going to say spirit, man. I kept on hearing that living off prayers. Yeah. You, a, a lot of prayers. Oh, but, that, but that confirmed, I promise, I did not know about your father. 
and that that is confirmed. So I should have said it earlier. Like so God always give you confirmation. Yeah, mm-hmm. living our prayers. That's yeah. a lot of it. I'm yeah. gonna say seventy percent. Absolutely. 70%. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It's God's yeah. plan. Yeah. So you know, you're you're about I, I think about fifty four days yep. into exactly. the mayorship. Fifty six murders though. Fifty six murders in the oh, city. Yeah. Yeah. Four mayors. Yeah. What 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 are your thoughts on that? And what and, man, and it people is. always want to know. What's the plan? It's heartbreaking, man. First, let me just say my fam- my heart goes out to all the families. And, you know, now I get an update every time there's a murder. Mm-hmm. Um, I-, I see what happened and mm-hmm. the stories. And, man, it's just so heartbreaking because the large majority of it is so senseless. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, all of it is senseless. But right. the large majority, you look at it and... You know, somebody arguing with their boyfriend or girlfriend or, you know, they meet their friend to sell some weed and Mm -hmm. get in the car and get shot. It's just all kinds of like Mm -hmm. just things that could be prevented. And so in terms of what's the plan, it's going to take all out Mm -hmm. effort. Um, Mm -hmm. We're going to have to, one, engage the subjects of our conversation. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, and I think you were there. I told you about kind of what what I was I had been working on. We have all these conversations about how we want to stop crime, and we talking to people who aren't participating in crime. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> like, it, it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, we're yeah. talking about how we're going to stop crime, and we're not talking to anybody who engages in it. Right. Um, and so, my approach and strategy is going to be to deeply engage those that are in the streets. Mm-hmm. Um, we we had a conversation with some folks that's kind of engaged in that life mm-hmm. uh, last week, and. You know, I tell people I wish the whole city could have sat in in the room. Mm-hmm. Um, these are young black men, and they're telling, you know, my ass of them was how can we get seven days of no shooting, mm-hmm. ceasefire, no mm-hmm. no killings. Right. Um, and they were open mm-hmm. to doing that. Uh, but they also said our little homies, these mm-hmm. are the folks that's under them. Right. Our little homies <clears throat> need to find ways to get money. Yeah. How can they have money in their pockets that can change them from wanting to break in a car? And they, right. they said something that made so much sense. They said, man, the reason we breaking in cars and stealing them is because it's fun. Mm. We won't have nothing else to do. Mm. It's fun to go steal a car and ride around and smoke mm-hmm. weed. Fifteen-year-olds, what else we going to do? Mm-hmm. To me, that's a charge. That's, that's a call hard. to yeah. action. So you yeah. asked about the plan, but I just want to give a little context yeah. on mm-hmm. what the plan has to include. Mm-hmm. So our plan... Um, just this past weekend, uh, we did uh, some enforcement activities because mm-hmm. I'm a firm believer. Like, if yeah. you're out here acting a fool and doing the wrong thing, we got to hold you accountable. Right. Mm-hmm. And so we were out there on the streets making sure that we <clears> were, <throat> um, you know, going to find fugitives that had mm-hmm. done all types of things in mm-hmm. our community. Uh, we had traffic enforcement. Uh, we actually caught some individuals that were breaking in cars mm-hmm. on a specific lot. Um, and we did all of this in the Mount Moriah precinct. And so we called it Code Zero. Right. Um, and we're going to be doing that every other weekend where we go to the areas where we're seeing the highest levels of crime. Mm-hmm. And we're going to uh, intensely focus on those areas from an enforcement perspective. And we came right behind it this week and we're doing cleanup actions yeah. and uh, doing City Beautiful and code mm-hmm. enforcement. And so it's not just the enforcement mm-hmm. We're also trying to show the community love. Yeah, all the so things you ran on. One, all the all things, things I ran, ran on. on. Yep. So that's the in, enforcement mm-hmm. side. The other side, which I always say is equally, if not more important, is the intervention. Uh, we're working with groups like 901 Block, mm-hmm. Hill 901, Memphis Allies, mm-hmm. and these other groups that are out there actually working with the individuals that have shown that, you know, they're on the wrong path. Either right. they got arrested, they're in truancy court. <clears throat> they're We're working to get mm-hmm. them resources mm-hmm. um and then the last one is prevention mm-hmm. um the same thing those guys told me we got to get our community centers mm-hmm. active. we need mm-hmm. programs so that they can uh be engaged for hours from three to eight mm-hmm. p.m right like these are the hours when they're idle and this is when they're where they're, mm-hmm. they're running wild and so we have a program that we're getting ready to um put together it's mm-hmm. called oma well the version of the, it's a framework where we're putting mm-hmm. together and it's based on a program called Omaha 360, which mm-hmm. is out of uh, Omaha, of right. course. Um, and this is basically an umbrella framework for all of the organizations that work in one of those three areas, mm-hmm. suppression, intervention, mm-hmm. or prevention. Yeah. And whatever your organization does, you fold under the umbrella and we're communicating data and mm-hmm. information so that if you are a kid and you live in 38118, which is where I grew up, 
you can tap on an app and see all of the resources that are available for you, all of the programs. If you're a parent and your kid is 6'5", and you just a single mom that's five feet and you can't tell them what to do, um, we're going to have ways for you to understand where are the resources for you to help get your kid on track. And so those are the types of things that are really going to be game changing. They don't happen fast enough. We still have 56 murders. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it hurts my heart that it's it's happening in that way. But my goal is to not lose sight of the bigger vision. Mm-hmm. Like we're gonna change this thing, right. um, and we're gonna try and work every angle. Let me let me ask you this because this, yep. this is something that came up in the uh, stakeholders breakfast this morning. Mm-hmm. Parental responsibility. Yeah, you know uh, what is, what does that look like to you after the fact after their mm-hmm. child has committed a crime? Should there be some responsibility on the shoulders? of the parent and maybe to the victims or, you yeah. know, what, what does that look like to you? I mean, there's I, legislation that's, that I'm working on legislation. For right. Me, as a matter of fact. I, I, I 100% agree that we have to find ways to hold parents accountable, mm-hmm. but it's such a, it's a hard line Yeah. because parents come in so many different forms. Mm-hmm. What was the parent doing? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, in the example I just gave, if you have a single mother that's working two jobs with a son that is, you know, 200 pounds and 6'3", mm-hmm. and you, the mom says, don't go outside, and he go jump in the mm-hmm. car with his buddies. Mm-hmm. What can we do to her? Right. Um, and so it has what to— What should she do, though, if that happens? What she need—I I, don't—she needs someone in her life that can actually get to that young mm-hmm. man that can change his perspective. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can remember when I was growing up, my dad— and my dad was there, mm-hmm. but my dad would always threaten to take us down to juvenile court if we were cutting up and acting right. a fool. Right. He was, like, I'm right. about to take you down to juvenile right. court, and right. you know it was it was a threat that mm-hmm. would just get us straight. Right. Where can she threaten to take her child? Like, right? Yeah, he knows she he can't she can't take him to juvenile court. Yeah, um, and so we need resources for our parents to be able to refer to. Mm-hmm. If we're gonna hold them accountable for their actions, we got to give them an outlet to say, hey, if you have an out of control child that won't listen like at least bring them to this place first Mm -hmm. then if you've done that and and we know that you've tried Mm -hmm. then maybe the accountability that we hold on that parent is different than Mm -hmm. someone that has a child that has been arrested six seven times for doing the same thing and they continue to do the same thing and the parent just acts like it doesn't matter yeah um like those are two different situations in my opinion two different pathways you know it's interesting we don't we're we're definitely on the same path. And, and then in that scenario, too, that's where them big homies need to come into play. Yeah. Right, right. They need to pull up on little, little homie. Yeah. Right, And right. And, and, and we got to find ways to get the big homies engaged. We can't think that, you know, our message, mm-hmm. and I, when I say our, I'm talking to all of us that have arrived. Right, right. That, come that, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've arrived. arrived. <laughs> like, we somebody. <laughs> Right, like right. sometimes we sit in these rooms and we feel good because yeah. we all high and mighty and we, mm-hmm. we hang amongst ourselves and I'm going to go down and talk to the little man. Right. Dude might not listen to you. Right, right. So right. you get the real big homie and, and that big homie has uh, gotten to a point in their lives where they they see something different and mm-hmm. they're going a different way. Let's engage. Let's, get, let's let them be the mentors. Mm-hmm. Let's find ways to employ mm-hmm. them because they have a skill that mm-hmm. we desperately need in our city yeah, right now. They speak now. the language. They know, speak, speak the, the language. language they you know, connect. And, they got, and there's credibility. They're going to connect in a right. different way yeah. than some others might. Yeah, yeah, man. So that, that's, 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 that's good, man. Um, you know, um, I've been telling, I'm telling, I'm telling folks, you know, we have to engage and, and, and people, people think some people speak from the, from the vantage point that is this or that, and it's not this or that it's all of it, all of it mm-hmm. happening at the same time. You know, we need some strong laws cause we got some killers out here. All the things, Right. And, yep. and, and at the same time, we need the programs. We need, you know, the participation and the accountability from parents as well. Yep, yep. It's, it's, it's all the thing. And it's frustrating because people want it to be one solution. Right. They they, they ask me all the time, mm-hmm. what's the plan? Right. Tell me the plan. Right. I can't tell you one thing. Right. So the plan is not a 30-second answer. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can talk at a high level. Then they say, well, I want specifics. And then I reel off. 12 things we're doing. I can give you all the specifics. Right. So like, um, but I do get it. I mean, they want us to see, they want us to codify it, write it down, call it something. And we're, we're working to do that. But, 
you know, I've been in so anxious to just get started right. that we're delving in mm-hmm. and we're doing the work. Mm-hmm. And the team is working to like articulate all the words on paper mm-hmm. and all of that. But I'm just trying to get to work. Yeah, I got you, got you. We're working our way backwards. We're going to come back because yeah. I do want to ask the mayor what life was like when the mayor was Paxton's age, right? <laughs> and, and, and and what was happening and, and, and if... Uh, you know, uh, some of these folks, you know, that he or his homies had, you know, were doing the, the tax flip thing. We're going to come back to that because we ain't going to let him off the hook, Angelica. Mm, he knows somebody who did it. He knows somebody who did it. I don't know what you I don't know. that money, too. Don't put me in there. Hey. Look, we'll be right back. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Hey, grab a bag with a roll up. Grab your cup and let pull up. They didn't want us round it first, but now they act like they know what. Hey, but they show love, yeah, we show out when we show up I don't even do the liquor, this shit might make me throw up But we talked up, this the after party Shit grabbing on my body White girl got a bottle in the club And that going all it Talked up in a wreck the party We just brought out everybody No, we got our class so fun We at the after party Yeah, what's good? This Carlos 6 July Brody And you're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project Conte is given a crown blackberry countdown. Three, two, five. You know, one, oh, one. Welcome back to the Antonio Parkinson Project. I am Antonio Parkinson. I got my wonderful co host, Angelica Jelly Woods, in the building. Oh, that's right. Yep, yep. Lecante, go to Angelica. There you go. Good conversation. <laughs> I'm heavy over here. I'm heavy over here. Find that little exactly. teardrop, but yeah. Right. I'm yeah. honchoing right now. DJ yeah. Kojak in the building. We in the house. Man. He barely right. wrapping up Black History Month, man, with some, I mean, with, he, he, with he, man, he, he wrapping up a, a he wrapping up a about? cup of Blackberry <laughs> Crown, if anything, right? Hey. right. I'm wrapping right. it up too. Yeah, uh-uh. Mayor Paul Young in the building, y'all give it yo, up, yo, Mayor Paul. Yo, yo, what up, what up? We're excited to have you. So, yeah. Mayor Mayor Young, I, I do have to ask you this, couple couple questions. One, <clears throat> what is the biggest surprise that you did not? know that you were going to encounter before you were mayor when you became mayor come on give us something juicy man oh it's not that juicy i mean you know i've been working in politics for a while i've been working in government i think the thing that has been most surprising has been how many people know who i am (laughs) like like i I guess i i knew the mayor is is known and people Mm -hmm. know his face but you know i i have still not adjusted to like Mm -hmm going to the store and right. people say, oh, I know you, I know you. Yeah, so, so and what I, what I realize is that everybody's going to base their experience with you off that interaction. Oh, yeah. And so you like always have to be on. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You always yeah. have to uh, smile and make sure people know that you're happy to see them and that you, mm-hmm. that you feel the appreciation. I think that probably was the most surprising. Yeah. I um, love that engagement though, especially yeah. like you, you run into constituents at the post office yeah, and, yeah. and they, they say and and what about such and such and such yeah. I love that in game. I do too. I do no, that, too. Not, that sounds exhausting I, I would never in life well it, it, it can be I'm if sorry. you if you do it all day but see you know you, you, you go you experience you engage and then you you go home you yeah. go go home and recharge or you yeah. go to the office and yeah you know, get to work doing some things. That's why them breaks are so necessary, man. You know, but nah, but, you but, but real talk breaks. though, you know, when you when you go out and, and and that's what I love about Memphis. Memphis is Memphis, people don't get it. Memphis is a beautiful city. Nah, man, it's amazing. It's, a, it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, the people <clears throat> doesn't like it. The people are beautiful, the people are amazing, and 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 they're they're the majority, the overwhelming majority of people are good people. No question. Good, hardworking people. You know, just want something good and want their city to be good. Yeah, no question. I mean, yeah. Memphis is an amazing place. It's the place that I love. And, you know, I, I just want the world to see our beauty, to see our greatness, uh, because uh, I don't think we've been represented the right way over the last few years, uh, just from in the national media. And mm-hmm. so... We're gonna change. We're gonna we're gonna reclaim our narrative. Hey man, I I, I wholeheartedly agree. You know, it's interesting that you know earlier in, in the previous segment, you know, you mentioned, uh, you know, being the blackest city in in the country, yeah. which is which is an amazing, uh, feat an and opportunity and asset, right? Yeah. I remember telling uh, you know my Republican colleagues, the ones that's in leadership up there in the state, that instead of being antagonistic towards Memphis, you should see Memphis as a gem. 
a, a diamond for the state because we own something that most cities don't own, especially when you look at culture, food, you know, uh, music, entertainment, yeah. music, right? Our position mm -hmm. geographically, right? And, 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 and I was trying to get them to understand that this is something that's exportable. Yep. You know, because you think yep. about what do, man, white folks, Europeans, they pay thousands and millions and billions of dollars to get the black experience in the Caribbean, in Jamaica, in, in, in other it. places. That's and what it. are they going down there for? They're going down there to get the hair braided. They're going down there to get the food. They're going down there to enjoy the music, mm -hmm. you know, the weather, the culture. They're paying for that. You're preaching, bro. But 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 if you if we are if we are seen as the enemy of the state of Tennessee. We're, we're missing a golden opportunity to make Memphis a chief export for the state of Tennessee. Yeah, yeah. We, I always say, man, if we could just bottle up the soul and the culture and the energy of our city and sell it, we'd be billionaires. Right. And so that's what I want us to focus on doing. We have to be able to sell the world on why our community is special. And I, I think we shouldn't miss an opportunity to capitalize on the thing that no other city in the world can claim that we are the blackest city in America. That doesn't right. it doesn't negate you if you're not black. Right. It says, hey, we have an asset in our city. If you're white, you should be proud of right. it. You right. You should be proud that in my city we have more African Americans per capita than any city in the country. And if you're a major company that wants to value diversity mm -hmm. and you want a diverse workforce, we got the talent to match it. Right. So here, come on, we're ready for you. Yeah, yeah. What about the politics, man? So, so, mm -hmm. so, what, yeah. what, you know, because, because here's what one thing I can declare on the Antonio Parkinson project is Paul Young is not a politician. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. He, 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 he did play one on the movie one time, but yeah, he's not yeah, a politician. Yeah, but, yeah. and so, and, and, and I don't consider myself a politician either, you know, uh, but the, the politics, yeah, how has that surprised you? Or, or, or it, how it, honestly, has, it opened, has it opened your eyes at all? Not really. I mean, I, I was. I mean, people think that um, just because I'm not a politician doesn't mean I don't understand politics. Right. And so, you know, it's a lot of politics to go. It, it can be exhausting mm -hmm. because politics is about relationships, mm -hmm. and uh, it can be exhausting because you have to you have to water all of the relationships. Mm -hmm. You had to make sure you're making the calls. You had to make sure you're showing up for events. And so um, it's not that you wouldn't do it otherwise. It's that you're doing so much other stuff right. to yeah. try and mm -hmm. govern right. that the politics sometimes exhaust you yep. because I want to be focused on doing this work Proving quality and not life. Right. building these relationships. Yeah. But the relationships is what's going to get you further. Right. And so, you know, we've been working hard to make sure we're building relationships mm -hmm across the board. I know you've seen me in Nashville already yeah. two weeks in a row. I'll be yeah. back yeah. next week. Right. Um, and so, you know, we're just going to keep building those relationships because at the end of the day, it's about these people in our city. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. about the citizens. It's about these folks who are relying on us to get more resources so that they can elevate. Have you have you experienced, though, uh, where you're seeing, you've seen some policy, and you don't have to quote the policy of the person. Yeah. I wouldn't dare put you in that, in that situation, but have you seen where People are putting, have put, or, or elected officials or others have put politics over people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I've seen yeah, it. I yeah. mean, not just with me in the jo in this right. job. I've seen right. it before I got in this right. job. I mean, I've, I've been a student of politics for yeah. a long time, yeah. and I'm not surprised yeah. when I see it happen. Um, you know what I what I hope is that um, we can get people to be more about the results for the community mm -hmm. as opposed to their personal or political gain ambition. or political ambitions. And, you know, I, if I feel like if I continue to be authentic and show up, uh, we can reduce how often that takes place. Good Mr. luck. Mr. Mayor, I've seen you three times in life. I interviewed in life? You in life. Okay. That, that <laughs> makes it, that, that puts it yeah. on it. Right. Yeah. In life. And I think wow. one, and <laughs> I hope <laughs> it's four. <laughs> Let's make it to four. Yeah. In life, right? Yeah. Three times. <laughs> you can tell me, Jellica, you're wrong, but I feel like your edge, you do have other people. You have a, you have a discernment. I could be wrong and right. That gives you an edge in, in your, um, I think a, you're not, right. You're not a politician. But you you do you do have some discernments and I could be yeah. wrong.
game recognized game. You like, want to call yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. But hey, you know what I, I mean, mean? I'm from Memphis. I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm from hey, Memphis. I'm just, a PK. I'm a PK. So as a PK, you you're around a lot of different personalities in the church. Uh, I talked to somebody uh, last year. They were telling you the church can teach you everything you want to know about politics. Right. Yeah. Every personality is in the church, and so I've been in it all my life, and so. I think that's where that discernment comes yeah, from. You call it what you want. Yeah. But you have discernment. And just listen Thank to you. it. Right. Listen to it. I don't yeah, know if you know who Mans Ashan is. Mans Ashan was the mm-hmm. he was the music director for, for G. E. Patterson. Okay. Right. And Mans was on the uh music commission on on the board when I was running the music commission. And Mans told me, he said, Touche. Church politics are way worse than 100% civic agree. politics. Hundred percent agree. He said, "Man, church politics are vicious. It's vicious, right? right. They don't it's play, vicious. man. They cut you. They cut it's you. Vicious. Yeah. yeah. So, I have a question yeah. from the producer because I okay. have to ask before. She said, "Do you consider yourself to be an introvert or extrovert? That's that right." Yeah, extrovert. Yeah, so so people with some people will say they think I'm an introvert, but I'm actually an extrovert. Like I get my energy from mm-hmm. being around people. Mm-hmm. Like I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't exhaust me. Like I get motivated. Like when I come in here and I'm talking to y'all, like I start getting yeah. more energy. I don't leave here drained. Like oh, right, right. Mm-hmm. I wish I wouldn't have talked to them. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. So what what was what was life like for you? You you came out of Okay, but shout out to Okay, Okay, right? Okay, stand up. The healing center. Yeah, right, the healing center. That's yeah, right. Look yeah, at that little part. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. look, man. Man, speaking of the healing center, man, we we love your mom, man. Oh yeah, mom, everybody mom, loves her. Yeah. yeah, but look, you 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 came out okay, okay, growing up, man. Mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa, what kind of what kind of who who was Paul Young in high school? I mean, I was I was the dude that got along with everybody, so okay. I was always the centrist. Like I have partners that didn't like each other uh-huh. or this person, and I was friends with both of them. Right. Um, I was. I forgot the term they used, but I was like friendliest in high school. Oh, is that uh, right? I got that superlative. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I was all. Yeah, man, I've always been. That's 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 a big word. For that's a, that's what they call high school, school superlative. I might not hit our target right, right. 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 I, w- I wouldn't have known it if they didn't call it that in high school. Right. right. I'm uh, hard time. But uh, <laughs> yeah, man, I I, I was just a, a cool, laid back dude that got along with everybody. Does Paxton remind you of you when you when very you, much so? Well, he he actually he's a funny guy. Like he he's a comedian. Yeah. He's a little comedian, right. so he's actually probably more talkative than I was really? back uh-huh. then. But but I do see in him like he he makes friends with anybody. You put yeah. him in a room yeah. and he'll be quiet at first, but you come back, he playing with whoever it is. Right, 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 <laughs> yeah. right. So 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 that was high school. Did you do anything extracurricular, man? Uh, did, were you banned anything? Were, were man, you, what I was kind of a, did you I was make? a church league. Uh-huh. Let superstar. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I used to play a lot of neighborhood basketball in church, but I wouldn't play on the team officially. Um, my grades were were good, solid, really? solid yeah. grades. Yeah. Um, I've always been pretty smart. Yeah, yeah, academically. Yeah, yeah. academically. Were you in honors classes? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went to East and I was in the uh, optional program, all yeah. honors class. I was in that engineering track because uh-huh. I wanted to be like Dwayne Wayne. Uh, right. oh, oh, you know, he was an engineer. I did. I had glasses. No, 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 no. I ain't wear his flip joints. Okay, no, 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 no. Right. But, but you know, I, I heard when I was in seventh grade. I saw a different world, and I decided I want to be an engineer now. Right? Oh, really? Because you know, you kind of pick which character was most uh-huh. like you, yeah. and that's I stuck with it. Got a uh, undergrad in electrical engineering, and right. then figured out that wasn't for me, and went back to grad school for for city planning. Right. And then, and did and did what? Uh, did the girls like you? Did the girls like the smart guy? In high school, oh, uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't have a problem on, on that on that front. But you were in the optional. I, 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 yeah, I mean, I had a girlfriend the whole time, uh-huh. and then went to college, and uh-huh. you know, was in college. Really? So, so what you do? You yeah. cut the girlfriend, man? She actually went there. She went there <laughs> oh, really? at the time. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, but but we eventually broke up, and then right. I met my beautiful wife, right. Jamila Stockton, right. Jamila Ooh. Smith. Yeah. Right. I feel you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, hey, like, hey, reel it, it on it in, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah reel that on <laughs> in. <laughs> right. That's that that's incredible, man. And 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 your wife is beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, most of uh, smart, intelligent. What what and, and so what 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 kind of what what attracted you to to your wife? Oh Lord! Oh man! What? 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 We want to know. We uh, want to know. Because, well, you just called it. She's beautiful. Yeah. She's smart. Um, mm-hmm. and she's super cool. She's right. funny. Um. Mm-hmm. You know, she's she's low key funny. Like she ain't she's not gonna say a lot. 
uh-huh. up front, but you get her behind closed doors at the house, and she has a lot of jokes. Yeah. So, oh, is that right? So now she's super funny, and she's uh-huh. fun to hang out with. She always lights up a room when she comes in, though. She oh yeah, like she, she's. Uh, That's just you know, just look at her. Yeah, yeah. she she lighted yeah. up just yeah. just walking in. Oh, boy, this man, yeah. Yeah. Boy, look at look her. Man, get off, get it all, get it all. Yeah, he might be home at night. Good night. Good night. gonna have a little brother. Oh no, 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 no! Don't speak that on me. No, we're not doing that. Excuse me. No, no. That's what's up, man. That phase is over. It's a wrap. We're gonna watch these beautiful kids grow up. Is that right? I heard. Yeah. That's that's wonderful, man. What what's what's next, man? Uh, I know this is early on. Yeah. uh, What's what's next? I I don't want to put you too far out past the four years, but but what what? Give me give me three main things that you want to accomplish yeah. in, in in this term in this because term we're going we're going to speak a second term for you right yeah now. yeah yeah, yeah. we we we're, we're going to get eight years right. but I, what i will say is uh, in this term we got to have the numbers for crime going in the right direction okay. we're not going to solve crime mm-hmm. but we got to see indications of progress right mm-hmm. so you know we want to get those numbers uh down Dramatically, is there a benchmark? Uh, is there? A, is, do you have a? I'm, I'm I, hesitant to say. say I, I'm yeah. hesitant to say yeah. a number yet right. because it won't be an informed number. Right. Like right. I want right. the stats to yeah, to say, mean don't something. Say you're doing right. Don't yeah, yeah. Right. So, but I want I want the numbers to be trending, going, trending yeah. in the right direction on crime. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to see uh, more economic development. Mm-hmm. I want to see our city. Um, thriving mm-hmm. like right before the pandemic it was like we were pushing in the right direction mm-hmm. we were seeing things like raleigh yeah. town center yeah. tillman cove all of these yeah. projects which i actually yeah, had a, yeah. had a part in but right. they were happening in neighborhoods where we weren't seeing that mm-hmm. and it's kind of slowed down it's gotten stagnant mm-hmm. uh after the pandemic mm-hmm. and so i'm ready to get that momentum going yeah. from a development perspective um and then lastly just the cleanliness Mm -hmm. of our community Mm -hmm. Um, I want us to improve the process for how people file complaints when they have them Mm -hmm. if there's a property that's vacant grass needs cutting so we're doing those things Mm -hmm. more efficiently and you can visibly see a change when you drive down Park Avenue Mm -hmm. you can visibly see a change when you're driving down Macklemore Mm -hmm. in South Memphis or you're Mm -hmm. going down Jackson in Klondike Smoky City area like I want to see visually changes from that perspective. You know, I, I thought it was interesting. I was at a town hall meeting in, in, in Cordova in Countrywood. Shout out to all my folks, constituents in Countrywood. And they, they one lady made a point and, and it hit me like a ton of bricks, right? She was like, you can, you can come up Germantown Road from Germantown and visibly see the change when you come into the city of Memphis. And, and and it shouldn't be right. It should be yeah. yeah you know we we should we should be looking just as good or better than what it looks like going down Germantown Parkway in Germantown, mm-hmm. right? And so and so I, and that may, and and one of the, and she was just bringing up things. This of course yeah. predates you, but she, she was bringing up things you know about you know flowers in the median, mm-hmm. you know, and things of that nature that they had at one time, and yeah. then you know. It, it got neglected. So yeah, there's a lot of reasons for that, but I mean, mm-hmm. um, I agree in right. principle that. Uh, we have to ensure that our community visually reflects Mm -hmm. what it truly is, reflects the beauty, because a lot of what we're seeing is psychological, Mm -hmm. like the crime, the violence. Like if it looks like no one cares, people behave as such. Mm -hmm. Like if it looks like everything around me is hopeless, then bump it. I'm just going to go do whatever I want. Yeah. (laughs) Um, and so, you know, I think the aesthetics matter a whole lot towards good the outcomes that we want. Yeah. 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 All right. Angelica? I have nothing to say. I didn't what? Talk, I didn't talk I, to y'all. Okay. No, okay. I can't okay. even say nothing else. I'm in a whole different little world right now. Can't I'm believe that. I'm trying to tell you. What's that yes, all about? I, I what I want to say, I can't say online anyway. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Jack. We're getting Angelica <laughs> now. Just, right, right, right. I know, right? Right. Who me? Yeah. Uh, I'm not getting yeah. clipped. So, 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 so you, know, you know, you know, I, I do have to ask this. You know, okay. we're, we're we're having conversations with the Memphis Grizzlies, mm-hmm. right? Um, you know, a lot yep. of movement there. You know, yep. it's all the way at the state level, as a matter of fact, right? Yeah. And you know, a lot of, and, lot of good conversations. Right. A lot, yeah. And so, you know, how how are we looking? How are we looking with 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 the Grizzlies and 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 you know and and the things that are, yeah. that are needed, you know, to ensure that, you know, they're here. 
Um, I think we're getting close. Um, you know, they, they we are working through and, you know, they have things that they would like to see us commit to. And we're having those negotiations. The lawyers are meeting and talking. Mm -hmm. I'm having discussions with them and uh, their leadership, mm -hmm. um, the state and others. The county has been right there with us. Um, I, I feel confident that we'll be able to get something done. Mm -hmm. But. You know, I don't want to break any news today. All right, we, yeah. we got we got a little more work to do, yeah. but um, uh, go ahead and break the, conversa yeah, <laughs> the conversations have been right. good. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. The conversations right, have been right. really good. Yeah. So well, well, you know, I feel good. like we're headed in the right mm -hmm. direction. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Any any um, um, other um, major opportunities that that you can talk about that's on the, on the horizon for the city? Well, I mean, mm -hmm. it's in the news that the Sheraton Hotel is. Um, being sold mm -hmm. and so we are hopeful that we get good ownership mm -hmm. that'll come in and make the improvements mm -hmm. to the property to bring it up mm -hmm. uh to match the quality of the investment of what we put at the convention center mm -hmm. and so feel very optimistic about that um we're working to uh think about where are there development opportunities mm -hmm. in the city um you may remember when i was the housing director we had put out like eight development opportunities mm -hmm. at once. Mm -hmm. um, and I think about five of them, we ended up getting projects mm -hmm. and those things mm -hmm. are, are nearly completed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so we want to do that again mm -hmm. and, and provide some development opportunities in different areas mm -hmm. of the city. And so yeah. those things are, are happening. They Obviously, everything takes longer than we want it to. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think, and then the, the other thing that you'll notice about our administration is we're going we're gonna to be working hard to put out more positive stories. Mm -hmm. There's so much yeah. good stuff that's happening yeah, we and we are inundated with the bad. Right. And so yeah. we yeah. gotta we gotta find a way to let the city and the world know all of the great things that are happening in our community. So so what what responsibility uh does media have we, 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 and we I don't want you know media y'all don't turn on man. Oh, we, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna have a conversation in truth though. But but you know when you when and we've talked about this before. Yeah, definitely. You know when you're getting inundated. I was just watching one of the news stations back there um, before before you got here, and and we saw six stories of of murder. Mm -hmm. You know six stories yeah. of shootings rather yeah. not necessarily murder shootings. And you know but what role does the media play in the psyche of? the citizens of Memphis and what and how that story is being put out to the world. Yeah, it plays a significant role. Mm -hmm. I mean, it shapes our psyche. It right. is the reason that we um, talk about the crime and the negativity mm -hmm. as much as we do. And, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying it's not their responsibility to report it. What I want to push them to do is stagger the way they report it. Mm -hmm. If we have three murders in a day, let's not do all three of them at once at the top of the news. Mm -hmm. Let's let's do one. If you got to get the salacious thing up top, do one. Mm -hmm. Let's give us some good news, then do the other ones. Mm -hmm. Like but if you put them all three right there, then you may turn the news off mm -hmm. by the time you tell us the good news after the weather. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, I, I would love for them to think strategically, but then I will try to own some of it and say that we the citizens, the residents, the city we got to give them good news stories to report. Yeah. But there's plenty of them. It is plenty, but it's not as accessible to them. They have a radio that they're using to listen to where a crime is taking place, and then they go and run to report it. Yeah. They have to work to find where is something good in the community happening. So make sure that as you're having these events where you're engaging folks at your church or your community centers, that you're sending the news those mm -hmm. stories. Mm -hmm. uh, make they sure they know. They yeah. get them. Don't you be very I know, to them. I, I know yeah. but, yeah. but what I'm saying is we got to flood them <laughs> yeah. with the opportunities because I know that there are so many projects that are happening within the city of Memphis mm -hmm. that the people in the city don't know about. Yeah, yeah. you think and about that. You think about all the good stories coming out of it, Shelby it, County Schools. You think about we got to package it up right. for them. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. And we have to tell our own story. Oh, Use absolutely. our right. platforms. Yeah, Use your platform. We right. have podcast. We have mm -hmm. all these other mm -hmm. platforms and outlets that mm -hmm. we can tell the stories um, using influencers. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm. I'm really on a mission for our city, and I would love for all of us to be strategizing on how we can leverage our own mm -hmm. network of Memphis influencers to say, let's change the game. Mm -hmm. Let's get, I charge you with that. Won't you get us all in the room? Let's get uh, all, right. all hey, the influencers, unapologetic, yeah. my guy over there, all right, the others right, that right. have these groups. Right. Like, let's and get let's in get the, the room. Get the news stations uh, in the room. Get, 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 get the, the news room stations too. and yeah. whoever else will listen. Yeah. 
Like you know, we all have to tell some more positive things about yeah. our city. You know, you know, interestingly enough, because you know, I I, I watched news in Nashville, right? And mm-hmm. and you know, and news in Nashville for the most part is crane, 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 crane. Mm-hmm. What I mean is cranes in the air. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. And then and then yeah. after the weather, then in the next block, you know, oh yeah, such such got shot over yeah. in yeah. Casey Holmes or something, right? And so it, it reflects it, the mindset of the city. Mm-hmm. It, it reflects does. they they believe. In their growth mindset, right? They believe in the right. in the prosperity, and that doesn't mean they don't have problems because I know right. they do. Yeah, uh, absolutely, you know, I was you got just, crime problems. Yeah, they have yeah. crime problems yeah. just like us. But um, you know, they also don't let those problems define who they are. We've allowed crime to define who we are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It now de- it, it is now defining who Memphis is, and we have to reclaim our narrative. I agree. I agree. You know, I, and I've told you this, given you this example before. You know, if you go to Chicago, Chicago got crime, right? They got no crime. Question. They got violent no, crime. Yeah. But if you ask a person from Chicago what they think about Chicago, weird as shit. Yeah, right? they're going to tell you. Chicago, they're going to let you, you know. Go to such, such, such. I mean, they get excited about yeah. it, yeah. right? And and we have to reclaim that, you know, that esteem level about the city of Memphis because, man, we, I, I done been in a bunch of markets, y'all. I done lived in a bunch of markets. But Memphis is the most unique market in the market. I mean, in, in the markets I've lived in. Yep. Got you. Yeah. So so look, we're gonna wrap it up with 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 the good mayor. Y'all y'all got anything that y'all want to close with him with, Angelica? No, he's doing great things. Um, I told him before he even won office. I told mm. him I said you're gonna win. All uh, right. You were right. Prophetic. You were right. I am. Yeah. If you listen, you wise. You will listen. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get wise, Angelica, <laughs> and so I can listen. <laughs> hey, got a brother some slack. Kojak, come help me out, Kojak. No, nah, he <laughs> listen. You might will just let him sit over there. What's your son's name? Paxton, Paxton look oh, no, Paxton. he didn't go stay with Paxton. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'll show well, I, I gotta you know, say, I gotta I say, be better. I'm gonna be better. I, I, I gotta say, keep doing what you're doing. Thank brother. you, man. I appreciate you it. Know, uh, you know, you know, I'm from brain, brain, brain. Yes, sir. With you from day one. Absolutely, y'all have always been you, there, man. man. I appreciate and it. I love the growth for the stuff. You know, you're doing with, for the city. Yes, sir. Keep, we we're gonna keep, keep representing, moving, man. man. I, I told you, we're we're on a mission, and I'm committed to it. Like I believe it deep in my soul that. You know, I, I'm here for a reason, and, you know, I just want to live out that purpose. That's that's dope, man. Man, I ain't gave you one of them uh, 4.30 in the morning phone calls. You ain't had to. Man. Yeah, you ain't had to. <laughs> you had to talk <laughs> me down a couple <laughs> right. times. Right. Right. We'll leave that alone. Right. We'll leave that alone. Yeah. We'll leave that alone. Yeah. But it's so funny, man, because, uh, you know, and, 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 and he's, that's the thing I love about Paul Young, man. He's always been consistently Paul Young, and I've been knowing him for years, <laughs> right? Yeah. And look, what, look I, I I never hesitated call it, call him, and he'd be waking up seriously. Hello, <laughs> hey man, what you doing, man? <laughs> Sleep. Uh, why <laughs> right. are you calling? Right, right, right. Like, right. Should block him. Yeah. Right, like look, block him. That, Angelica, that now be nice. Now we got to call him. <laughs> yeah, put him on right. the, uh, do not disturb. Right. So so y'all y'all give it up for the mayor, yeah. mayor All right. Paul Thank Young. Thank y'all, man. Anytime. Glad yeah, to come back. My peace. Yeah, man, my peace. My guy. Show, sure, man. Yeah, and look, uh, before we wrap up, you know, uh, after the abuse from Angelica, you know, I got to, I think I'm going to need me an emotional support dog. So, and and then, and then, you know, I think, speaking of which, uh, you know, just as a quick segue, you know, we got, we got some, it's Black History Month. We're talking about black businesses, right? We got, we got a company in the, in, in Memphis, black business. They got clothes for your dogs. Clothes, dogs, CBD, awesome. everything. I CBD. Mean, <laughs> and they have the only for auto- the dogs. Are they have the dogs. Oh, oh, okay. And they have the only Man. automated dog wash in this. Like, oh, you know, how you go to a car wash. They right. Have the TV, everything. Like Man. the only one. Little no, Fido black pulling owned. up in the car wash like this. Black, wow. yeah. And the dog wash like this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta yeah, check it out. Yeah, and see. yeah, yeah. Out. yeah. Right. We gotta check it out. So right, again, you've been watching the Antonio Parkinson Project. Mm-hmm. We will see you on the next episode, and we out. You're watching the Antonio Parkinson Project.